Michigan cornerback Will Johnson is the number one player on TDN's big board for a huge reason, and Miller Moss of USC found out exactly why. Most teams don't test him, and Moss was doing that a little bit against Michigan on Saturday. He found out exactly why you don't test him. Let's jump into tape and talk about why. Will Johnson's not only one of the best corners, if not the best corner in the entire class, but one of the best players. He's such a foundational piece, and he's going to be a foundational defensive piece for any team that drafts him. He's such a chameleon. He can give you multiple different looks. Right here, he's showing press coverage, but he's going to back off, kind of pass off that wide receiver who's coming across his face right here. He's going to just kind of pass him off into the middle. And then he's going to take his position to the to the flat right here. Gives you that little bit of send off. But then this play goes nowhere anyway. It was a nice job clicking from Michigan's defense. But this is just a little taste of what he does from a soundness of everything he understands about his fundamentals and everything that he knows about playing in this defense and his responsibilities. So right there, nice job passing off, keeping his eyes on the quarterback while he's doing it so that he can then take his responsibility to the flat because you don't want to have chase too much that way you end up getting beat on the on the outward flare out there from the running back so just a really nice understanding of his own individual responsibilities and the way that he adjusts on the fly when you have the type of mental skill set and studying that he does on an every single down basis and every week basis he's so good at changing his stripes like i said we just saw him in press coverage quote unquote changing to his zone, going to the flat here you got off coverage identifying where the ball is going to go but then just take, keeping his eyes on the quarterback initially right here and through the route process, you have this receiver coming up the right-hand sideline. He's just going to adjust his path here. And then he comes in to the receiver and he pushes him to the outside. Use the boundary as an extra defender. If there's one thing in man coverage that you can get a little bit hesitant with Will Johnson on. It's that he can get a little bit too physical at the top of his route and he can jam and miss. And when he's in that, you know, that hip pocket, he can get beat downfield at times and he doesn't always turn his head. So I, I think he's got the recovery speed clearly has the athleticism, but just, I like the ability right here to keep that little off coverage keep that little cushion, keep his eyes on the quarterback. And when that receiver gets close, uses the physicality to push him outside just for all the different reasons you see there. One, because the wide receiver has to then reestablish and it throws off timing at the top of the route, regardless of what he's trying to, or the receiver is trying to do. So down here again, we, we see him move around a good amount in this football game. He did for the most part, line up on the left side, left side of the defense. But we just mentioned the, how good he is from a study standpoint. Again, he identifies these screens so quickly and the body language of wide receivers paired with the quarterback. So right here, initially, he's got eyes on the quarterback. As soon as he sees the quarterback clap, clap his hands, he probably understands where he wants to go with the football. So his eyes now go right here to the screen side of the offense. And immediately he sees this player right here start to block he looks here he sees the blocking forward so triggers downhill and this is what i like so much about it because he initially attacks quickly downhill towards the receiver and that's going to pull this defender a little bit out of his way towards will, where will johnson's trying to go and then you have the body control and ability from will johnson to come underneath this block and then he ends up pulling getting a penalty on the play because number 87 pushes him in the back there. Otherwise this would have been a big, uh, a bigger play for the defense. So uh, play recognition, able to read the body language of the receivers here coming underneath. And then he's able to move his body out of the way of blocks to be able to make plays. And this one, he causes a penalty on USC for a, a loss there for a loss of yards on that. So what, he's been so good at doing is once again finding ways to utilize his downhill speed and play recognition to create plays we just saw in the screen game and now you hear we see him click and close great job playing with that off coverage and he play he does pay such close attention to what's going on he kind of watches through the receivers through the route concepts to the quarterback with his eyes and he does has such great reactive athleticism as soon as that tight end comes around here as soon as he starts to move his shoulders will johnson's already on top of him here's the ball it's coming out and you've got the you know that click and close ability there boom 
drive down on the throw forces an incompletion right here on second down now it's third and long instead of it being third and medium and that's those different changes in the football game that made a huge impact for Michigan's defense and continue to make big impacts throughout the season and will in the NFL as well so we all we all love to see him click and close use the different skill sets that he has at his advantage with the athleticism the physicality and I think just the natural brain that he has for the game he's one of the highest football IQ corners that I've seen he and, and uh, Travis Hunter see the game at a different speed than a lot of these other players so once again there he is just driving on that football to knock it loose on the tight end if again there's one more gripe about his game that I do have it's it's the tackling i don't think he's a great technique tackler which can be taught it's not something that you you can't teach the one thing you really can't teach is the want to tackle i don't think that he lacks for wanting at all but right here he's a little bit too over eager to take this angle to the outside and what i mean by that is you've got a good amount of space here where you can work yourself towards the sideline keep yourself square and then make that re that receiver have to make a decision. Instead, he kind of over pursues towards the sideline, turns his shoulders that way, and then it's it's an arm tackle at the end where he does miss. So right here again, he's turned to the sideline, maybe shimmy a little bit, or not shimmy, but uh, you know shift your feet a little bit and just kind of get down, get low, square up, keep your shoulders square, and, and get that down that way. But he just un ends up turning his shoulders to the sideline, missing a tackle. It goes for a first down here for USC, and, and that's one of those little areas that he's going to have to clean up. Just the technique stuff, which, again, can be taught, and, and it does show up a couple times in this football game, specifically the, uh, the, the just maybe timing on the tackling and the technique needing to be uh, addressed a little bit. But the number one thing that Will Johnson is – He's a bait and throw kind of player. He wants quarterbacks to think that I have enough cushion, right? I've got enough cushion to throw this football and, and you really don't. And this is a, a really nice job. Once again, of trying to do the exact same thing, keeping that depth, understanding I still need to carry this receiver coming out just a little bit. I, I need to carry him a little bit, but I, at the end of the day, I want Miller Moss to throw to this receiver right here. So going to back up just a little bit and make him want to throw this football and Moss does a nice job again of just taking the check down on this one but Will Johnson in position there to make another break on a football where you know he's forcing these quarterbacks to have to make those decisions you have to be willing to take the check down with Will Johnson kind of lurking around where you are and again using great eyes great depth and we're trusting his recovery speed and athleticism to get the job done whether it's downfield or clicking downhill to a pass he's going to force some of these quarterbacks to have to live with the check down and if you don't take the check down or if you think you can fit the ball in this is what's going to happen and this is just again reading the play seeing it the ball is a tad late and that's not necessarily miller's uh, uh moss's fault he's just getting to the back of his throw, uh, back of his uh, back of his drop when the ball's coming out. But, I mean, he, again, he sees this. I've got enough. You think I have enough to throw this, right? Oh, no, you don't. You really don't because Will Johnson's speed getting downhill. Boom, it's quick. And before he even knows it, the ball is now in the hands of the defense and it's going back for six. So, I love the way that he plays the game from, a, like I said, a football IQ standpoint, trusting his speed downhill and just knowing that regardless of where he is on the field – like, he can flash right in front of the receiver's hands all day long playing in that off coverage, whether it's cover three, cover two. He's able to be so comfortable in his own responsibilities and trust in his instincts to just get the job done. And this is why you don't test him. This is why a lot of teams don't test him. And Moss found out the hard way in this football game that you just sometimes you won't want to. And this is just going back to the play in the first game of the season to showcase, once again, the football IQ. He saw this coming a mile away You've got the bunch on the right-hand side of the offense. You've got a re two receivers set to the opposite side. Short field on the right-hand side and, and more space on the opposite. So Will, Will Johnson's just like, okay, I see that this could definitely be happening. And then he's looking at the quarterback. Quarterback never sees it the entire way. And again, this is all the way back for another interception. So he's got two pick sixes on the season. And this is a huge reason as to why he is the best player on the TDN top 100 because not just the instincts, the athleticism or anything like that. He's so well studied getting in the film room and watching what an offense does and being able to identify it, not just in the film room, but then apply it on the field. 
is what's going to make his skill set translate. He's going to be scheme diverse. You can do whatever you want from a defensive perspective. And then he just needs to clean up some of the turning to locate the football downfield and man coverage and cleaning up some of the tackling technique. And he's going to be a legitimate number one corner for any defense that drafts him. It would not shock me to see him go in the top three possibly number one depending on how this quarterback class shakes out and who's at the top of this draft class in terms of teams selecting so will johnson such a fantastic player and he's going to be a top five top three pick in the 2025 nfl draft class i hope you guys enjoyed this video breakdown of will johnson because at the end of the day he is going to be one of the best players in this class he already is and i can't wait to see what he does in the nfl if you guys are new to the youtube channel here at tdn make sure you hit that sub button right now i hope i was able to earn a like from you guys breaking down everything about will johnson and what he's going to be able to do at the next level have yourselves a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.